for a few seconds, read our sentence, and reflect upon it. Charlie, do you want to start us off with something that you've noticed? Notice that part of Templeton's name has a math vocabulary word that you know. Good. Let's start thinking with our grammar brains right now. That's a great connection, Charlie. Alexander? I noticed that, um, I just now noticed, um, since Charlie said time is a word, I noticed that the first few letters of his name is temple. Right. So it's a compound word. Wow. Well, it could be a compound word, but since it's actually his name, it's not going to be a compound word, but thanks for pointing that out, Alexander. <laughs> Krish? Eight is a verb. Eight is a verb. And what is a verb, Krish? It's an action. Good. Jaden? Eight is a um, homophone. Eight is a homophone. And what is a homophone, Jaden? Homophone is just like... Homophone is just like... Good job. Ceci. Um, of his food is a prepositional phrase. It is a prepositional phrase. Well, isn't it? Ceci, can you expand on that? Sessie, that's great knowledge, and since we have not covered that this year yet, we will come back to that another time, okay? Sophie? Um, temple is um, after they have a sentence, they say after. Yeah, temple ten is a proper noun. I will come get you in a little bit, okay? Go back to your class. <laughs> Ehab? have noticed that it's a past tense verb. Good job. Anjali? Um, food is a concrete noun. A concrete noun? Since we haven't talked about that this year, you want to expand on that? A concrete noun is something like, it's a noun that you can touch. Oh. Thanks for oh. growing our minds. Oh. We'll talk more about that another time. <laughs> Macy? Well, if E.B. White had wanted to rephrase it a different way, he could have. Callie? Possessive nouns are Anish. Um, the one that takes, um, oh, just saying in my head now. Not a pronoun. What is a possessive noun? Um, a word that takes ownership of the uh, adjective. A, a word that takes ownership. Yes. 
And what did we make sure to include in those possessive nouns last week? What punctuation mark? Um, apostrophe. An apostrophe. Hmm. Do we see an apostrophe in this sentence? No. But there is a possessive word in here. It doesn't have an apostrophe. So Callie noticed something, so I'm going to let Callie take this one on. Which word do you think in the sentence is showing possessiveness? His. Ooh, and does anybody know what type, what part of speech his is? Oh, it's a pronoun. It's a pronoun. Is that, uh, Chris? Sessie. So this week we're going to begin talking about possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns aren't going to have that apostrophe that our proper nouns were last week. So let's go ahead and take some time and brainstorm some other possessive pronouns. We have his. Can anybody else think of a pronoun that could be used as a possessive pronoun? Today, since we're just learning this, we're going to brainstorm and we'll dive way more into this the rest of the week. Ceci. Her. Her. Alexander. Would you say, like, this is mine ball or mine carpet? Mine. Mine. Thank you. Not like a mine. mine. Thanks for thinking that through with me. Tommy. That is a pronoun, but can it be used as showing ownership? Or Callie? Theirs. There. Which there? Their classroom. Jaden. Where? Where does rhyme with there, but it's not a pronoun. Where? It's okay. <laughs> Jack. It's. It's. Good job. William. persuasive writing and you've been making some persuasive posters can you use possessive pronouns in those yes. Yes. so let's make sure when we're writing today that you are thinking about our grammar talk and trying to fit those into your writing to enhance